Hey everybody, good morning. It is uh, Saturday morning at about 9 o'clock. Ryan Breton in the News Center, Maine Weather Office. Uh, you may have gotten this on your phone if you live in southern coastal Maine about 20 minutes ago, but a flash flood warning has been issued in this really heavy rain that's been out there. We've already had over three inches of rain, a lot of that falling just in about a six hour period. So we're seeing some big rises on some of the rivers and streams and a lot of areas where it doesn't really drain well dealing with some flooding as well. These are the areas specifically under the flash flood warning. It includes all of coastal Cumberland and York counties along with Seacoast, New Hampshire. And it's up until 1.30 because it's going to take until a little bit after noontime for the heavy rain to completely shut off in this area. And on top of the already two to three inches of rain we have, we may get another inch on top of that. Here are some of the numbers so far that have come in from our weather watchers and some of the various weather stations three and a half inches of rain in Kennebunk. That's on the ground already, and that's one area we're really going to have to watch for that flooding. Over three inches in Scarborough, over two and a half in Portland, gray coming up to about two and a half, Cumberland two and a quarter, and Lewiston Auburn about an inch and three quarters of rain so far. The flash flood warning is in effect for southern Maine because that's where the heaviest of the rain has been. It has not been nearly as heavy in eastern and northern Maine, but you're starting to get into that rain in the Bangor area now. You can see this downpour coming in off uh, Penobscot Bay. That'll be moving into Bangor pretty shortly. But by far the heaviest of the rain we've seen has been in the Portland area over the last several hours. In cases like this, if you're out driving, obviously hydroplaning is a concern because big puddles on roads like Route 1 or 295, that kind of thing. But also, you have to watch any areas that are near small streams. They can get backed up in these cases, uh, sometimes by leaves, clogged up, also the storm drains, and, and be a real problem. And your eyes and ears are always helpful on days like this, so if you are out traveling and you see flooding and it's safe to do so, take a picture, take a video, and send it in to us. You can find us on Twitter, New Center Maine. You can find me on there too, at Ryan Breton WX. I'm opening up the Facebook Live. If, if any of you have reports, you know, feel free to let me know what you're seeing. Coming down in Scarborough, heavy rain and wind in Winslow. Ponding in Wells, okay. Lisa says my basement is where the water is. Yeah, that's too bad, hate to see that especially on a weekend. Heavy rain in Durham. Yeah, the warning woke uh, Heather up. That's what she says. Yeah, actually, uh, flash flood warnings and tornado warnings are the two weather warnings that will get pushed uh, automatically to your phone through the wireless emergency alerts, uh, much like uh, Amber Alerts. So that's why maybe you had an unpleasant awakening, awakening around 8.30 this morning. Heavy rain in Elliott. Raining in West Central Maine, Woodstock. Been pouring since 5 a.m. in Leeds. Uh, Heather says, hope it doesn't freeze. Black ice, no fun. Well, the good news is, maybe the only good piece of news out of this, is that the temperatures are all safely above freezing. It's 51, actually, in Portland. 47 in Sanford, 41 in Freiburg, and even the mountains now are safely above the freezing mark. Here's a live look from our tower camera atop one Congress Square in Portland. 51 degrees, easterly wind at 22 miles per hour, gusting up to 31 at this point. So it's pretty gusty right along the immediate coastline too. Uh, as for the wind, I'll show you some of the gusts here. Today we're only concerned about wind gusts along the immediate coast and into down East Maine. You can see that's where the winds are, are gustiest right now. And we may get some gusts later this morning over 40 miles per hour on the coast of Hancock and Washington County. You can see this wind core kind of sitting offshore. So can't rule out an isolated power outage down here, but should be below the, the threshold for any significant type of power outages today. The main concern is the rain and the main concern is the flooding in the area where uh, we have this flash flood warning. Jeff in Saco says he's been here in Saco and my yard has never been as flooded as it is now. Uh, Jeff, if you have a picture and you can safely send it along, We'd love to see it. You can email weather at newscentermain.com. You can post it right here on Facebook. You can go to my Facebook or my Twitter too, and you can find it there. Pouring in Sagadahawk, heavy rain in Skowhegan. Yeah, we'll show you the radar. It's, it's kind of like we're all in this together. 
and the heaviest rain has sh is shifting now into central Maine. These uh, yellows on the radar here, all heavy rain. Uh, and this is the, the rain that moved through southern Maine about an hour or two hours ago and dropped well over an inch in about an hour in some cases. So that's why we have this flash flood warning that's up. Let's look to our south because all of this is moving from south to north. There's another area of some heavy rain right here around Cape Cod. That's going to move up in the next uh, two to three hours. But you can kind of see the back edge over in Connecticut here. So I'd say around noontime, that'll start to get into western Maine and we'll see some improvements. But before that happens, another inch of rain is possible on top of the rain we've already seen. And it's, it's kind of a big system. You know, it extends all the way down to our south and it's just pushing all this moisture up in our direction. Almost two inches in Topsom with a wind gust of 32. Thanks, Peter. Heavy rain and wind in Wyndham. Basement has water. Sorry to hear that, Gloria. What will this do to the trees and soil softening? Uh, yeah, the ground is saturated. There's no question about that. Um, tomorrow, actually, on the back side of the storm, most of us will get stronger winds in the 40 to 45 mile per hour range. So perhaps if the ground is still kind of soggy tomorrow, there could be some power issues. But today, I think the wind, even though it's gusty, will probably be below the threshold for widespread outages. Some outages are possible, but uh, the highest chance for that would be mid-coast and down east. And even there, I don't think we'll have widespread issues, even though the ground is saturated and soggy. But it is a southeast wind. We've seen this type of thing before, so some I isolated outages are, are a possibility. Joyce says, good morning from Bridgeton. Uh, not too bad in Down East yet. Yeah, Down East hasn't seen too much heavy rain yet. You can see it's been mostly lighter here, but there's some heavier stuff offshore right here. That's going to be moving up in the next couple hours. By far the heaviest rain we've seen so far has been down over southern and coastal Maine, which is why the uh, flash flood warning has been issued. Herman had a strong wind this morning that snapped a tree. Okay. Almost two inches in Auburn. Thanks, Harry. Three quarters of an inch of rain in Madison. The area that I am in in Biddeford is really flooded. If you have a picture, like I mentioned, send that in. Are you talking about your yard is flooded or are we talking about streets? You know, there's obviously a big difference in impact if it's the low lying part of your yard that's covered in water. It might mean your basement gets flooded. Um, there have been some reports of street flooding down in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. So I'd expect some of those to pop up pretty shortly in York County. Steve, the wind is coming in from the southeast, which as we've seen before is in a great wind direction, but I don't think we'll have too many gusts over 45 today. Most of the gusts will be in the 35 to 45 mile per hour range, which is why I'm not too concerned about outages today. Tomorrow, the wind will come in out of the west. Let me show you that real quickly here. I can bring it up. So today's winds are southeast. So this part of the state, down east Maine, and parts of the mid coast have the highest chance for outages. Tonight, the wind starts to come in out of the west and southwest. And then tomorrow, we'll have gusts in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range, some even above that. Uh, could be some locally higher gusts, especially in the mountains and along the coast. Um, but it's out of the west and southwest tomorrow. So this is where the flash flood warning is. And one other thing I want to mention uh, that has me a little bit concerned, I'll take off the warning here. There already is a coastal flood advisory up for high tide. Um, let me get this off. There we go. There's a coastal flood advisory up for the high tide that happens at noon today. And so that means that if it wasn't raining, we'd probably have some flooding in East Bayside and Portland around Marginal Way. But you combine the fact that the water is going to be coming up the storm drains there, that's what happens in the, uh, in the high tide flooding that, that we get, with a couple inches of rain, maybe three inches of rain, I think we could have some real problems around lunchtime. Uh, places like Marginal Way, Franklin Street, around Whole Foods. So if you live in Portland, that's something to keep in mind. In addition, the coast of York County, York, Wells, um, Kennebunk, those areas along the coast where we tend to see 
splash over. I'm thinking, you know, Webb Hannett Drive and Wells around Long Sands and York. There could be some pretty significant splash over that happens during high tide today at noon. So that's something to keep in mind. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, that's another concern we're going to have to keep an eye on, and we'll we'll be closely watching that too um, along the coast. Separately from that, there is a flash flood watch for the rest of the state, rest of southern Maine. Uh, but in, in the near term, the biggest concern is this flash flood warning. Rivers, streams, roads that are susceptible to flooding, uh, that's a definite possibility here between now and about 1.30 as this rain keeps moving through southern Maine. Let's see. End of the road is flooded in Elliott, okay. Road closure in Saco because of flooding Beach Street. If I remember Beach Street in Saco, is that near Camp Ellis? Uh, let's see. No, Beach Street's actually inland. Okay. Um, so that could be, that's Route 9. Is that in downtown Saco? If it's in downtown Saco, it's a little, little uh, that's definitely flooding rain if it's in downtown Saco. Good morning from Bath, where right now you can take a bath in people's backyards. Sounds right. Could I please show the rain totals again, please? Sure. These are the rain totals from our weather spotters and our network of, of weather stations. Uh, the highest so far is Kennebunk, 3.5, but that's probably more like 3.7 now. Scarborough over 3, Portland over 2.5, Gray 2.4. Auburn an inch and three quarters. Let me pull up a statewide map here. Sometimes this lags behind, which is why I haven't really shown it. But you can see that there has not been as much in eastern Maine. It's really this rain coming in from the south where you have the highest amounts. Some of these numbers are a little bit behind, which is why I'm showing this list instead. Yeah, Julene is right. Not a very good time to have all rain in the mountains. Vacation starts next week. Temperatures will drop. This coming week does look a lot cooler. All right, everybody. So for now, we're going to leave it at that. Again, a flash flood warning is up for the coast of southern Maine, Cumberland, and York counties until 1.30 this afternoon. Watch out if you're out driving. Some of the streams could get backed up and flow onto the roads. And you never want to cross a flooded roadway. I actually think Jess Conley made a flood uh, explainer. Here we go. This is what a flash flood warning means. Flooding is highly likely or already occurring. And again, you never want to drive through flooded roads. And that flash flood, wa flash flood warning is up right now for coastal York, coastal Cumberland County, down into Seacoast, New Hampshire, too, until 1.30. If another um, warning is issued, we'll pop on here. I'm going to hang around for a while. And again, I'm a little concerned about the high tide at noon today, especially in Portland, East Bayside. Could be some really significant flooding, and we'll have to see uh, if that even occurs in other parts of the city where it doesn't usually happen. Uh, this, we've seen this happen a couple of times before, high tides and flash flood events, and it's never a good combination. So be safe. Remember, uh, turn around, don't drown. That's the saying. You can tweet me, Ryan Breton WX, if you have reports. You can send them into us here on our New Center Main Facebook page as well. You can get the full forecast and timeline on our website and app. And if needed, I'll see you back here later on this morning. Thank you.